It's time! Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the return of Ring Saeed. We're going to be watching Nico Omelana's sneaking into KSI's boxing match in the ring. This is Knowledge doing his first ring walk in years live in front of millions. And somehow I managed to finesse my way into that bottle right there, even though I have a history of being banned from boxing events. I know this sounds crazy, but please just let me introduce myself. My name's Nico Milana, formerly known as Ringside, the man who used to sneak into rings. This guy is a genius. Unfinished business. Every time I'd try and sneak in a ring, I'd never reach the center. I'd always get stuck in the ropes. And now knowledge is back, Reggie's fighting, and my brother Kenny, now's the time for ringside to return. He is a master waffler. He's a master waffler. Look at his eyes. This is a crazy man. So how did you plan to get there? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Let me tell you a story oh, about the Trojan horse. This is a story about ancient Troy, where Greek soldiers gave their enemies, the Trojans, a big wooden horse as a gift. But when the gift was accepted and brought within their walls, many Greek soldiers climbed out and killed all the Trojans. See, the Trojans believed they were getting one thing, but in reality, they got tricked and got something completely different. And I'm going to use this technique and call it the Trojan Prime. I'm going to use Knowledge's Prime Drink against him and give him a huge Prime mascot, which he will think is created by another YouTuber, when in reality, the whole plan was created so I could get in the ring and ring walk with Knowledge on Fight Night. But for First of all, the animations... Phenomenal, crazy, brilliant. Secondly, the idea itself, I want to know who came up with this idea. Let's sneak in on a bottle of giant bottle of prime. It's brilliant. Thirdly, the way this man puts together a story in a YouTube format is literally unrivaled, unparalleled, bro. Like, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Like, his execution is immaculate. I'm 1 minute 24 in and I'm already, like, invested in the storyline, even though I know what he's done. Run this All thing. of this to I work, I needed Unicron. the prime mascot to look beyond perfect, which takes us to Oxford, where we were meeting Jake. So I found some prime, but I've also found something better. A much bigger prime, which has been made by my man right here, Jake. Hello, Jake. Very nice to meet you. Can you just tell them? I really hope he makes like? documentaries in the future. He's so good. He's so good. Like, if he gets bored of doing the whole prank and stuff, like, Nico, let's say when you're 30, 40, whatever, I'm trying to see some serious documentaries, bro. I would love to watch this guy host a doc. Like, just, you know what I mean? So good. Like, perfect for it. So we've built a uh, seven foot tall prime bottle costume. Perfect. And it has to be that tall we'll because this guy's yeah, fucking yeah, tall. This looks mental. This is Don't be fooled, he's see. a giant. Bro, you smashed it. How tall is he, like 6'3"? This is what I'm going to be wearing to sneak in to the knowledge fight. Now you might be thinking- Shout out the guy who made this bottle by the way, it's cold. Am I going to get a whole mascot in there and then put myself in it? Well, that's where the real plan begins. This is Kaisha, a fellow YouTuber who makes elite content. And I'm going to make it look like he was the one who made the Prime mascot. I chose him because he has the backstory. See, I reached out to him for this idea and discovered that he's been to Knowledge's events and has made videos on the Prime bottle before. So he was perfect. All I needed to do genius. was tell him on the just, phone just what my plan genius, was. I have bro. a plan to sneak in to Knowledge's event next month in a mascot, like in a full-on Prime mascot. And I want you to make it look like it's your idea. Also, can I say he always calls JJ knowledge on and off camera? Like, that doesn't change. Like, it's just become the thing. JJ to him is called knowledge. We've made a 3D design of the bottle, so that will make it look like he made it. You basically turn up there, you, you bring a bunch of different t-shirts and just make it look like you've made the whole thing yourself. And that brings us back to the present day. Hello, Kaisha. Hello. Now, let me tell you a quick thing about Kaisha. He's been coming here pretending to build this magnificent bottle. Not pretending. 
well, building this magnificent bottle right here. Yeah, well, he's got some great shots that make it look like he did build it. <laughs> also, he can post it to Mr. Knowledge's Reddit and make him believe that Kaisha was the one who made it. The sympathy card. The sympathy card. So right now, all you've got to do is film the video which you're going to post on Mr. Knowledge's Reddit. Let's go. Let's do it. No, no, hang on, wait. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now for this first scene, to you, Kaisha, will say, Hi, JJ. I know you're probably thinking, what the hell is this massive prime costume? I'm, well, I'm thinking that. Let me tell you. Hi, JJ. Now, I know you're probably wondering, what is this giant prime bottle? Well, let me tell you. My name is Kaisha. Action. My name is Kaisha, and I've been a fan of yours for many years. I even went to upload event. I took a prime bottle to space. I sent a prime bottle to event. space. But I've never got your attention. But I've never managed to get your attention. And then that's where you go. But it's not over yet. But it's not over yet, because I've decided not to over become yet. the prime bottle. Yes, you have. Perfect. Next up is... Um, for the, the last few months, I've come to this very warehouse after work every day to build this huge prime bottle. I even made a nice... Is that his actual sub very... count at this point? 16th of August 2022, 8.14k subs. How many subs he got now, chat? Who said 132k? Everyone else is saying 36. 36.7. Who's, why are people saying 132k then? Nah, nah, I gotta find out for myself. You lot are turning into Nico and Milano's master wafflers. He's got 36.7. Why are you not saying 132k? I love that for him though. Keep doing your thing, Kaisha. Guys, look. Guys, look, I remembered to change my screen back. Look, look, I did it, I did it. I'm actually competent. ...warehouse after work every day to build this huge pride ball. I even made a nice, unique nightmare, nightmare design, but you decided to switch it up at the last minute. Even that little salt edit, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm pausing this for my stream, and this might not be in the YouTube video, but even that little salt edit in the, the subtitles, yeah, how it transitions from... Nico telling him what to say into what he's going to say, and that's even transitioned on the subtitles. Huge fried ball. I Beautiful. even made a nice, unique nightmare, nightmare design. See that? You decided to switch it up at the last mwah, minute mwah. with a white design, meaning I had to spend the last seven days in this very workshop trying to get this ready for you to react to. Because it's very infuriating when someone only just randomly decides to announce a new design when you've been working for ages on doing a black design. It's very inconsiderate. This stuff costs money. I feel like people don't realise that. But now it's done. I don't think it looks too bad. It's so good, At least good, I hope man. it doesn't, because I've spent my life savings on this. That's good. I want it there. That's the Easter egg. We intend to see that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That's good. I want it there. That's the Easter egg. We intentionally put my foot here. Everyone must have been thinking, who's Yeezy is that? Nico's Yeezy. <laughs> you planned that from day, yeah? From it's the so my good. to walk out with you. On your fight on August 27th as this huge prime bottle, because as someone who's looked up to you for half my life, you'd be making my dreams come true. Nah, so he's I'm the best, man. members that like the fat Neek to help me out and get him to see this and see if we can get in that ring. And I'll see you there. Off script, also, so shout out JJ's Reddit, because you lot are goated, man. Everyone on JJ's Reddit, if you're watching this, you lot are fucking sick. I love you lot. You're so good. You, you help that man make elite content. You're the best. You lot are funny. Teach me. Actually, teach me. Wow. That is incredible. I couldn't <laughs> have wrote it better myself. I love you, KSI's Reddit. I love you. Reddit. I that's going to be on the Reddit you. getting all those numbers. Please. So Kaish took the video, edited it up, and three days later, it was time. Hello. Has the tweet been tweeted? Why is he saying it like that? Our post had been made and it took all of 31 minutes to get our first bit of news. There's this guy on Twitter called Man Taylor. That's Knowledge's manager. He's just replied to tweet saying DM me. Ah! And it's safe no to say, way. from this point, it just blew up. This video had banged on Twitter. Logan had responded. YouTubers were reacting hey, to the video. What did Logan say? This video had banged on Twitter. Logan had responded. Any chance you can meet me at O2 Arena on August 27th wearing that exact costume? No way! No fucking way! YouTubers were reacting to the video. I saw someone who had basically built a giant prime mascot. <laughs> Bert Rude That person was me! And you have no idea! And the video was right at the very top of Knowledge's Reddit. The only thing we were waiting for was the big man to see it himself. 
This is so good, man. Would be to walk out with you on your fight on August 27th as this huge prime bottle. Because as someone who's looked up to you for half my life, you'd be making my dream come true. Not a chance. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was just going to say, like, <laughs> JJ's the perfect person for this because he loves that sentimental shit. I was just going to be like, yeah, JJ's guaranteed to say yes. And then the first thing goes, there's not a chance. My face just dropped. I was like, oh, there goes that. But no, JJ loves that shit. I think you lot saw when he flew, oh, what was it? The violin, Donny, out to his show. And he performed, uh, oh, what was the song he performed? I can't even remember. He performed at one of JJ's shows with JJ on stage. And it was crazy. Like, I had goosebumps watching it. I've got a video somewhere on my phone. Um, but yeah, JJ's the perfect person for this. I'm kidding. We're already, yeah. look, I've already uh, got in contact with him. And we're going to make it happen. <laughs> he yeah. loves that shit, man. He's we're a good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> I love how he's saying he got in contact when it was Mams. But that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. So, to be fair, he said we. I'm walking out with Mams knowledge. is part of his team, so he's right. No idea. With knowledge completely on board, it was time to celebrate the success with Kaish. How does it feel to prank the whole of the YouTube community? It's a joke. Now, I feel like the best thing to do, you've obviously been speaking to Mams. Yeah. I feel like we need a phone call with him. Hello, how are you, mate? Who is this? It's, it's Kaisha, the mascot guy. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. We spent this time on the phone to work out all the info we could on the event. And once that was done, it was time to focus on fight week. And let me tell you this, no one takes fight week more seriously than myself. Swarms is actually a, a relative. I don't know if you knew, but he's a relative of Mike Tyson. Swarms! This guy is the master waffler, bro. Swarms! Swarms! Fuck him out. Get him. The NDL were in full force, showing their presence as always. You so NDL you lot are join, crazy as well. Press that subscribe button right now so you can be a I part love you of lot the greatest too. movement on the you planet. You lot are crazy. And join us in spamming NDL in random chats around the world. So please, subscribe now. But there was one thing that kept getting that movement is nuts. that really confused me. When are we going to see Nico in the ring? This guy will have a stunning up his sleeve when we see Nico in the ring. I don't think... Alright, Nico, don't take it personally, bro. They keep doing this to me as well. That's their go-to question to anyone they interview. So, uh... When are we going to see you in the ring? When are you going to step in? When are you going to put on a... Leave me alone! Shut up! This same Donny asked me the same question. Where is he? This man, he asked me the same question. Leave me alone. And then spelt my name wrong in a YouTube video. And used the worst thumbnail. Can we find... The fuck is this thumbnail? Why? 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 And then you want to spell my name with a Y as well. That's another why I'm asking. Why? No, they're violent. That's why I don't do them interviews, man. I don't like, I know. I'll be like, no, nah, I don't really want to talk. I don't know nothing about boxing. They're like, no, nah, two seconds. Let's just do the interview. Let's just do the interview. Because they want the clicks. They want the clicks. But anyway, back to the world-class Nico and Milano. This video isn't about me. We're talking about Nico here. We're going to see Nico in the ring. This guy will have a stunning up his sleeve. Can we see Nico in the ring? I don't think I'll be in the ring. In the ring? Bro, I retired, man. I retired from that game. Three, three sides gone. The people know, man. There's no chance. It can't happen. In this situation, you can say never. It will never happen. I but love this it, man. man. He's so good. Everything just works together for the final purpose perfectly. Right now, if you're watching this video, please, can we really just appreciate Nico? I'm not trying to blow smoke up his ass or suck his dick but like when something is quality you have to really appreciate it and i'm about this is one of my things that i said this year i'm about giving people their flowers when they can smell them nico is the guy i think i might have just called him nico but nico is the guy Never happens. I needed an inside man, someone that could get me in the fighter hotel, which is connected to the O2 arena, as that was essential for my plan. And it just so happens I had the perfect candidate, the man I was supporting over everyone else. Danny! Yes! <laughs> See, Kenny gave me the passes that enabled me to sneak into the first knowledge fight all those years ago, and now I needed his help again. But Kenny to never going to get given passes I again. I needed to bring him in on my plan. Do you know why you're here? No, but I'm seeing KSI on the screen. I'm not so sure why. Uh, he just made this video. And this guy made a giant prime mask. Pretty cool, right? I think it's a good idea. It's good for um, KSI's brand and prime, prime yeah. drink. Yeah, smart way to get there. Yeah, 100%. Don't tell me that's what you're doing. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, shout out Kenny as well. Oh
I should have known. I should have known. That whole thing. Oh my days. Look, Look at me. Look, you know when you catch yourself smiling at a video? You know it's a good video, brother. I just caught myself smiling. Chased by me. Bro. I'm not going to pause it anymore. We're just going to watch. It's going to be mental. It's going to be so bad. I can't believe that. Oh, but yeah. Was actually <laughs> As you can see, he was very much in on the plan, which meant we had the hotel sorted. The Intercontinental Hotel, to be precise. So now it's time to reveal our full plan to Kaish and Bats, as both of them are essential for Even this idea. Even the little models, the detail Sorry, is friends, crazy, bro. It's fight day. You see this model? This 3D design I've done right here? Mm -hmm. Would you believe me if I say I turned it into a full-on stadium and it just so happens to be where they're fighting today? Oh, you made that. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Time for me to go over the so plan with you guys. This is Kaish, this is back. So you guys dumb. will move in. As you can see, there is tons of security around the O2. You go to the front, your name is already on the list. Once Where's you're skills? in, you'll have the prime bottle on. Now, it's absolutely How you got so many red skills? When you're wearing the prime bottle, you make it look like it's very difficult to take on and off. You don't want any people questioning it. And keep the P up and say you can't really bring it down. Yeah. All right? <laughs> now, keep your P up. Keep my P up, yeah. That's What's funny about that, huh? Grow up, guys, no, grow exactly, up. Sorry. You guys will then have the rehearsal. You need to make sure it's clear that you can get in that ring. Now, I need you guys to tell me every single bit of information about that ring walk. So afterwards, you guys will then leave. Just make sure they see your face and you seem very attached to the prime costume. You're not gonna come all the way back here because we've sorted a hotel which is literally connected to the O2. And there's a secret tunnel leading from the O2 to this hotel. You then I mean, go it's not a secret anymore. And would you look at that? There's two people there. Me and George. Kaish then gives me the prime costume. Is that, is that how you? Yeah, you'll then give it to me. Or I'll give it, to, yeah, you'll give it to me, so. Uh, uh, okay. And then me and you, that, will move and walk in. I'll be dressed in a morph suit, the prime costume. They won't even know that it's me. They'll think I'm Kaish. We get through with ease. I then do the ring walk. I get in the ring, show my face, bang, and we've just pranked the whole event. It is a flawless plan. Flawless, can't go wrong. We should get a move on because oh. rehearsals start in 20 minutes. One sec, one sec. Now, it's time for you guys to get a move on because rehearsals start <laughs> in 20 minutes. Let's go, let's go. Good luck, friends. We'll see you on the uh. other side. Uh, no, we will not. There they go. The primer's in their hands now. Kaish and Bats took a cable car across the river where Kaish is suited up. Let's the go, animations, baby. everything, so man. And Nico, like, you're in G. Mouse. You and your team the are G'd up, bro. G'd up. Bad, bro. So they then headed to the O2 where, like I predicted, they were stopped by the first layer of security. But after a quick call to Knowledge's manager, Mams. Hey, mate, this uh, Jack. It's Kai's cameraman, um, the mascot guy. They were escorted to get a wristband and into the arena. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Let's go, Mams. Kaish and Bats had successfully infiltrated the building. I've just heard news. Kaish has made it in. It must have been so hot in that costume as well. About to begin. So let's just hope they're, they're behaving themselves. <laughs> Who's that? Bryn. Bryn and young Dave. Go on. The boys waited around for hours. Them two are really Kaish cool as well. Check them out. to get into a fight with Joe Weller, but luckily for him, it was a boxing event and not a car park. So he came out on hard. He was actually so swinging. There is no rehearsal at this point. I've and the little car park dig is cheeky, come back it's here, cheeky. As long as you're here, we'll be ushered out for the ring walk. Kaish and Bat were then escorted through the secret tunnel and into the hotel room for the changeover. Oh my God. I can't even get the shirt off. Well, how is it seeing the light of day? You're sweating. Wait, 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 wait. The out. There is no rehearsal at this point. I've been in this for four okay, hours. Okay, all right. through the secret around and there wasn't even a f rehearsal i just needed to see something once you're in there once you've got this on they're so chill as long as you get back in it's wraps we're done it's, it's, it's perfect we've done it well kaish your job here is now done well done wait how did he get the wrist wraps, done it's, it's, it's perfect we've done it well kaish your job here is now done well done smashed it but i tell you whose job isn't done you because you haven't smashed the like button yet so please like the video right now if you are impressed with what we've done and honestly if you haven't subscribed yet then your breath <laughs> <absolutely> <laughs> so this is how it's gonna okay be. the morph suit because i was gonna say motherfucker had white arms before ready i'm ready 
I'll try, I'll try my best. Good luck, yeah? Yeah, I'll uh, see you in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Mission sneak into the ring as a giant prime bottle is a go. Give me a hand. No one noticed the change in height because Kaish definitely ain't the same height the as Nicko. The first test with the watchers in the hotel lobby was successful. There was no suspicions. This is the live stream set up, by the way, everyone. I'm going to be watching as, hopefully, Nico walks out with JJ. If all goes to plan. In a bit. Good luck. There's not a lot we can do from now. About to enter the arena. Let's do this, my friends. It's prime time. Let's see if the Trojan Prime works. This was a big moment. Falling at the first hurdle was not an option. So to make sure I got in, I battered my way through the security defenses. And once they felt my wrath, they stood aside <laughs> and bang. The first hurdle was cleared. This is crazy. <laughs> The little mag inside is brilliant, bro. Okay, myself, brother. <laughs> okay, onto the stage we go. We're going everywhere. Everyone's watching. Nobody knows. This man don't even know he's hugging Nico or Milano. Touch me again and I'll smack you. In plain sight with no one the wiser. And the next stage was setting my sights on getting in that ring. <laughs> As my assistant, I need you to just say he's doing the ring walk with JJ for his first fight. Can he practice how, to, how he's going to get in the ring? So with literally no one looking at me as the fraud I was, it was time for me to do something that I have been building up towards for my whole career. <laughs> Actually stepping foot in the ring. And I'm in the ring. I'm here. I'm here before the fight. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, I'm here. Let's go. The arena's going crazy. I've made it in the ring. You know what's crazy? <laughs> I made it in the ring before Nico did. If you go back to that first Joe Weller fight, I was there. I was ring Saeed before ring Saeed. <laughs> the nurse of the century. He was ring Saeed, man. It's crazy to actually finally be in the center of the ring. I can't believe I've actually made it here. In and out, it's the fabric of the game. No claps, pussies. But this was just a warm up. <laughs> I then ventured into the stand, taking pictures paid, with anyone I, I shit, could. Bro. I then found my way to a place where I could actually make a physical impact to the event. You're gonna let me control the light. See it? Whee! Blue, red, blue, red, purple. What? Is that how they do yeah. it the whole time? Blue. Perfect. Well done. Don't fall off that stage. Think I'm good? Your day rate's gone up. I then left to make my way wow. to the fighter's room, where I accidentally put a spell on the bottle, meaning any fighter who took a picture of me would lose their fight. Oh, shoot. Hey, let me get a drink. Dude, this is phenomenal. I wonder who's inside of it. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, sensei. But now it was time for me to assess where we were at and where we were going from here. Literally got myself into a whole dressing room of fighters. Met sensei, the man Kenny's fighting. But we're about to go to Knowledge's dressing room, introduce ourselves for the first time. I was walking to see Knowledge. The question nah, in my head the little was, will he recognize icon, my voice? I'll be real, dead. I was terrified because this whole plan could be completely foiled. Nice to meet you, JJ. Nice to meet you, JJ. Nice to meet you, JJ. Oh my God, Come to meet my son. Come to my son. Boss man, good to see you, bro. I love the video. Thank Amazing. You, I can't believe it's actually happening. It's crazy, bro. I feel it's phenomenal. Thank you, man. Let's go. Let's you can't go. hear Nico's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Let's make it right now. <laughs> He's talking under his breath, that's why. <laughs> He's just staring at him in the suit. <laughs> So with knowledge <laughs> clueless, it was time for me to find his brother, Deji. 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 Nico, I love you, brother. Deji. Oh, you're a dickhead, though, but it's on your dickhead. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you, yeah, Deji. Thank you, thank you, love you, yeah. Deji. All right, nah. The Olatunji brothers had been sent beyond belief. So seeing as some of the crowd had now entered the arena, I felt like it was time to start sending some of them as well. Are you secretly KSI inside? Huh? I think you're secretly KSI. No, unfortunately not. I'm the only Nicholas and Malaya. Mm. So just before the ring walk now. 
So much time. I'm still smiling. Look at my face. My face hurts, bro. The pine pine. Hill, the Trojan pine. With the ring walk only a few moments away, the TV crews then entered the room to conduct a nice formal interview with Mr. Knowledge. So it would have been rude of me not to show my presence. That's right, guys. I am here with the man we are all here to see, the nightmare. <laughs> the pine bottle. There I was, <laughs> in the background. Knowledge doing his normal screaming, saying how he's the man, but he doesn't know that the real man is right behind him laughing. Legacy, ladies and gentlemen, legacy. I'm about to show you what my legacy is all about. The nightmare, KSI about to make his way to the ring, and he's not having any plans on <laughs> Swan's getting out of there away. Back you lot like, is killing me. Talk yeah. a lot about legacy, but is this your hero? A man that attacks innocent prime <laughs> bottles. <laughs> Please don't ah, hurt me. I've got to I've got to shoot. I've seen a strength. Ah, uh, uh, this guy kills me. <laughs> we had managed to survive knowledge's strength and integrity. We have survived his pussy punches and had ultimately made it into the heart of his camp without anyone even realizing who was actually in the bottle. And now the event has begun. It was time for the ring walk. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be my favorite video the yet, you know. Has arrived. We've been waiting for an event like no other tonight here at the O2. So let's get this party started. The crowd was all in place and the main event was about to begin. Knowledge was getting ready for his walkout right after Mr. Swamps who had just gone out, which meant I had to ensure I was right next to him while all of this was going down. I needed to be in that spotlight right next to Knowledge so I can get on that live stream. I could hear as I was walking up that the atmosphere was wild. The O2 Arena had been sold out. I was about to complete this journey by doing a ring walk in front of all of these beautiful people. What started out as a completely unrealistic idea has step by step managed to happen to bring me to this moment. All the times I've been stuck in the ropes, kicked out of arenas and banned from events have all that led to this. That one was too funny, the, the Miami one. Sweat and shocks have all come together and put me right here on the big stage in a giant bottle about to take the biggest walk of my life. And there was no way I wasn't going to seize the moment. <laughs> sing, sing. sing for him now. Sing, people. Let's go. Sing now. Let's go. <laughs> I had done it. We were walking the Bro, He's immortalized himself in history. I can't lie. He's done it. He's done it. And the Beta Squad in Georgia were there in full support of our great achievement. Someone was next to me. I can't remember who it was, but someone was next to me going, hey, that's Nico in the Prime Bottle. And I was like, no fucking way. As he was walking out, they were like, yeah, that's Nico in the Prime Bowl. I don't know who leaked it. That's Nico! And true Jordy, he's also the master of product placement, as you see a giant bottle accompanying him to the ring. Yeah, you've got it right here. He is the master or Nico is the master? That's what I'm talking about. Let's get ready to rumble! There was only one thing left to achieve in this mass finesse, and that was to finally reveal to the 20,000 fans in attendance and the millions of fans watching on stream worldwide. Did you lock clock at home? Actually, behind the bottle. And when the did you lock clock? When he drops his face. Thing. Oh my God. Yes! So Simon was saying to me the other day, imagine JJ turned around and just saw Nico in the bottle. Would that have thrown him off his game? That's me. Right there, I showed my face. On the Imagine screen. he turned around and saw oh Nico and started gosh, creasing. I still can't believe this happened, but we did it. We did it, my friends. The ringside journey has been complete. <laughs> Wait, can you see me there? <laughs> you can't. This is goated shit, man. I've been smiling the whole way through. Let's go. We made it. I would have loved to I see the stream like chat erupted <laughs> NDO. <laughs> Knowledge then pulled off a shock upset and somehow managed to defeat Swarm. So shock I then decided upset. to go to his changing room to congratulate him in person. Oh, you really smashed that, man. Oh! 
Mark. <laughs> it was me the whole time. What? The whole time. <laughs> I, I got on your Reddit. Yo. <laughs> He's a G, man. He's a G. He's a G. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, bro, you chicken. Yeah. I was speaking sign language there. On the stream while you were out there, I just put it down for a second. I was like this. No. <laughs> Absolutely good, good bro. Yeah, <laughs> Three in one night. Let's do it. Let's go. I then suited up and wished my luck to Kenny and Deji. If I'm not wrong, you win today. Your professional record is. One and zero. <laughs> and then I found the man I couldn't have done any of this without. Big up Deji as well. He's matured so much. We man. needed to celebrate our achievement. Oh man, it worked. Whole thing worked. Then Kenny and Deji both did us proud, and finally, knowledge rounded up an incredible event. Oh, I got goosebumps, you lot. I got like happy massive. goosebumps, man. You thought it was yeah. hissy. Well, yeah, it was I made it, yeah. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. I celebrated this massive W with the NDL. Yeah. Alright, big up. I love this man, I actually love it, I'm so happy. We did it my friends, the ringside journey has been completed. Champion of sneaking into rings, it's me, taking this one home. Let's go. The real bad man, go. Fair play, nigga, absolute dickhead. <laughs> I thought you said the M word oh, there, man. He said Nico. I thought it was the other guy, the other YouTuber. I was there like, yo, didn't say a word. I was like, all right, he's acting a bit weird. <laughs> but okay, maybe he's just shy or, you know, nervous to meet me. And then as soon as Nico popped his head out, I was like, ah, oh, you dickhead, you played me. <laughs> like the video, my friends. Subscribe to Kaisha and figure out. All right, a work of art.